Hello everybody, my name is Dan's Gaming. Um, I run a channel on Twitch TV uh, and have a YouTube channel called Dan's Gaming, which you're watching the sound now. Um, and today I'm going to quickly explain to you what the Fallout, Man Fallout Mod Manager is and how to use it, and as quickly as I can. Um, so, if you want to install mods for Fallout 3, the easiest way to do that is to use the Mod Manager. Um, I don't use the Nexus Mod Manager much because it doesn't work quite as well with Fallout 3 as it does with Skyrim and the other games. So I use mostly just the Fallout Mod Manager. Um, what it does is it allows you to install a mod and remove it with just clicking a button, one button, to install the mod or remove the mod at will. And it keeps track of what it installed. And so it, when it uninstalls it, it will remove the files it installed and put the files that are replaced back. Um, it's, so it's very convenient for quickly putting a mod in and taking it out without causing too much problems. Um, so the first thing you want to go to do is go to the Nexus Mod site. Nexus Mods is the number one mod site for Bethesda games. Um, go there and search for Mod Manager. I'll put the link below the channel as well. Um, you want to download the new FOMM uh, file and do it download manually. And then you'll get a you will get a little file that says new F O M M E X E. You'll launch that. You will pick where you want to put it. Um, you will install it, and then then you will launch it and the game. And it will, when you open it up, it'll first ask you where the Fallout Three folder is. You'll just tell it wherever you installed Fallout, whether it's the Steam version or. Uh, the CD version you will have to find where Fallout is if it's the Steam version It will be under the Steam folder Steam apps common Fallout 3 game of the year um, You'll you'll direct it there then it'll have you pick two places to keep mods um, stored um, You can leave them default just let them install it where it says um, And then when you click OK, you will see the screen um, This is the basic uh, screen that shows you what order your mods are in here and which ones are activated. Um, but the most important use of this uh, tool is the package manager. Um, it's going to ask you to log into the Nexus website or ask you if you want to connect and update files. Click no on all of those because it's kind of bugged out and doesn't work and it'll crash your game if you try to do it. So just hit cancel or no and then you'll load the package manager. Um, all right, now how do we use the package manager? Well, um, I will show you in other videos what mods to install, but I'm going to use a mod in, as an example on how to install uh, mods, how to get the how to set up the uh, Fallout Mod Manager to install mods for you. So what you want to do is find create a folder anywhere, call it Fallout Mods, etc. Just have it be a blank, empty folder with nothing in it. Now you want to go to the mod site and you want to download mods. Uh, download mods will be the, manually and there'll be these little uh, zip files that you'll open with WinRAR or whatever your program you'd like. I am going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one of the most popular mods, the uh, NMC uh, Texture Pack mod. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, I downloaded this already, open it up. Um, to get it ready to be used, what I like to do is create a folder, um, label it first, I label it as what it is, like textures, for NMC is a texture mod, and then space the name of the mod, NMC textures. Now inside the folder, I like to create um, what I would see if I had opened the data folder in Fallout. If you're unfamiliar with the, the, the layout of Fallout 3, inside you'll see, uh, this is the inside of the, the, uh, the folder, there is a data folder um, where all the mods and everything goes in. And in here you will see folders for video, shaders, music. Um, when you install mods you'll see a texture folder, etc and all your ESPs and ESMs will be all there. So I like to make sure that the folder that I'm creating matches what would be inside the data folder. So if it's a texture mod, I would have it, uh, 
I would make it look it would just be a texture folder inside so I'm gonna go inside the the uh, RAR file uh, I'm going to find where the data folder would be um, so this right here is equal to the data folder so if I open it up I should see a texture folder and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that into there it's gonna copy and unpack all that all the stuff out of the RAR file and into your folder that you created and uh, texture mods like this one's really big it's probably the biggest one you'll install so it'll take a minute to install it's gonna take about 45 seconds and then when it's done installing what you're going to do is first double check make sure you have everything set up correctly that you have uh, it labeled properly and you're gonna go into the package manager and you're going to on the right you're gonna see a little uh, tab that says that you can click on and you want to select create from folder now it's going to ask you to pinpoint what folder you would like to uh, create a what's called a .fom FOMOD uh, file which is uh, basically just a little file that tells the mod manager how to install a mod um, so once this is done which is there it goes it's copying now it's almost done and see it was two gigs of uh, textures which is a lot it's replacing most of the big textures in the game all right so just to double check this is the folder I created to put all my mods into textures NMC when I open this as a texture mod I should only see a texture folder nothing else and there it is texture folder so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure since I got it right I'm going to open create this I'm going to go where I've made this folder uh, for me I put it on one of my hard drives I put it uh, here I put it under Fallout 3 mods follow them uh, full mod there it is so textures NMC textures the folder I created I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna click OK and it's going to start taking all that stuff in the folder and it's gonna compress it down into a little file that will have everything it needs to install the mod and then you won't technically need that folder anymore but you want to hold on to it just in case you installed something incorrectly or need to change something uh, later which happens so you're gonna go drag it in there and uh, it'll take a minute to compress it because it's two gigs worth of uh, two gigs worth of um, actually it's taking a very long time I think I have the compression too high so if if you are uh, if you're trying to uh, create it, it's taking like extremely long time um, what you want to do is go into the follow-up mod manager select settings uh, full mod options and where it says compression level you want to select change that to none uh, for both change both to compression levels to none and it will make the creation time of the f uh, the files infinitely faster the trade-off is it won't be any it won't shrink the file down but I personally don't care about that our hard drives are big enough now that we don't have to worry about that very much um, um, <laughs> okay now we're going to uh, do that again create from folder select the folder that I had made make just gotta remember where you put it and then click on it click OK and now it will comp create it a whole lot faster as you can see because it's not compressing it anymore the bigger the mod the longer it takes to compress it'll just take it one minute it's almost done now what it's doing is taking all the all, everything in that folder and compressing it into one little file that it stores in, in, a, in, a, in its own little place and it knows what to install and what and how to remove it later so once it's done which it's almost done almost just takes another second and done now we'll look at I'm gonna show you the uh, fallout folder this is the data folder where the mods get installed all mods get installed into the data folder most every mod data folder of Fallout 3 
So to get it to automatically install this mod, which is just a texture mod, I'm gonna you click on it. You either click activate or just double click, and it's going to install it. It's gonna take all the textures and put them in the right spot automatically, without you having to touch anything, copy and paste nothing. Now you might. That's nice that it puts everything in the right spot. But the most convenient part is if you have to remove a mod. You, to remove it, you just double click again. And then it uninstalls uh, the files out of the folder. And as you should see everything go away now. There, and now you see on the left there, the texture file disappeared. It installed it and it installed everything and removed everything with a one click, with a double click and installs. So that's why you want to use the mod manager because it makes it easy to install mods and uninstall mods. Um, you can also, another feature of the mod manager is when you close this out, you can um, adjust load order by just taking the mod and just moving them up and down and then exiting. Also, you can have it launch Fallout 3 directly from here or you can exit, uh, you can exit uh, have it launch the Fallout script extender instead of Fallout. Um, other than that, that's the only things that you'd really need to use uh, Mod Manager for. I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, I will be creating a whole series of these videos to help you mod your Fallout 3 to get it to what I think is the best combination of mods. Um, the next video I'll be making will be how to make Fallout just run better even if you don't want to change any of the gameplay aspects at all. Alright, I'm Dan's Gaming again. If you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.